How's it going, you guys? I'm Mr. Grimmer 512, and again, I'm going to give you guys another uh, movie review. This time for Ouija Origin of Evil. And uh, right now, uh, before I do anything, uh, I'm going to show you guys the trailer for it. Uh, I'm going to come back and talk to you guys about what I thought on this, on, on the film, on this film. So, with that, that in mind, let's, uh, let's, uh, take it up to the trailer for Ouija, uh, Origin of Evil. Uh, hold on, you guys. Let's see if I can find it. I just, here it is. Alright, so I'm going to take you guys to the trailer for Ouija. Origin of Evil, and I'll be right back here in just a second. Mary, we invite you into our circle. If that's you, blow out the candles. Oh my god. Your job to stand at the curtains and not attack the clients. And you, young lady? What's a scam? Woke up this morning feeling fine. You are so weird. Does she have a lot of problems? It's nothing too concerning. What's this? New prop for work. Spirit, can you hear me? Yes, we can. And we can see you. Who are you talking to, Doris? Daddy, are you there? Who are you? Did you see her writing this? No. Because it's Polish. Doris, who did this? I'll show you. Are you here? Something is happening that we can't understand. I'm concerned about your girl. The spirit world is dangerous. What are you doing? I'm not doing it. Stop it! Do you know what it feels like to be strangled to death? <laughs> Something is wrong with Doris! She's experiencing something amazing! I believe she is channeling powers we do not understand. Doris? Alright, so that is the trailer for Ouija Origin of Evil. Now, this is my full-length review for for this film. Now, this film stars... Now, this film is based on the Ouija board from Hasbro. And this is also part of the, of the Ouija... This is a prequel to the uh, original Ouija uh, film that came out some years ago. Now, this film was set in 1967... Uh, in 1967, Los Angeles, the scares in this film are so creepy as fuck. Everything about this film was creepy. Um, it, the little girl, when you when you see her get, when you see her get, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When you see her get possessed by this demon, all hell breaks loose. Uh, in this film, now the film stars. Uh, now the film uh, stars Elizabeth Reeser, Annalise Basso, Lulu uh, Wilson, Henry Thomas, Parker Mack, and Doug Jones. And uh, this film was written by Mike Flanagan and Jeff Howard, and also directed by Mike Flanagan. Uh, now the whole thing is about this 
this this widow this widow named Alice Zander, uh, who works out of her suburban home in Los in 1967's Los Angeles. She has her teenage daughter Paulina and her nine year old little girl named Doris. Now the whole thing is they stage their seances. They stage you know they uh they're you know they're cons. They're con artists. They're conning people, uh, just trying to help people, so they say. But when they encounter a Ouija board, but when they encounter a Ouija, when, you know, the, the, the daughter encounters a Ouija board, uh, you know, all hell breaks loose. You know, these, the little girl uh, named Doris, uh, she thinks that she's talking to her father, but she's not. It's it's she's not talking to her father, she's talking to a demon, living in the home. Um, all hell breaks loose in this film, as I said before. But, uh, but what is happening is, is that you know, just bunch of stuff, man. I I felt that this film was horrifying this film was horrifying to me i had my hat up here like this the whole fucking time when i was watching this film um this film scared the hell out of me a lot there's scenes of horrifying there's scenes of horrifying shit man involved in this film and you know i know this film got a lot of flack um this film got a lot of flack for being uh, uh, a certain way. Um, hold on, you guys. I apologize for this misconvenience. Uh, trying to get my shit together here. But, you know, I, f I felt that the film did what it set out to do. And that scared the living fuck out of you. Um, so, this film, to me, you know, proves... That without a shadow of a doubt, you cannot play with horrible shit. You cannot play with Ouija boards. You cannot play with 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 terrible shit like that because it is the most terrifying shit you have ever seen. Uh, and that's why I'm glad. I, that's why I'm glad I, I never I, I never practiced that shit because it is fucking scary. But I gave this film. Because of the scares, because of the story, because of the plot, because of how this film came to be, I gave this film a 10 out of 10. Now, I know some of you are going to say, oh, well, Graham, why did you give it a 10 out of 10? This movie sucked. Well, I didn't see it that way. I felt that this movie was scary as hell. I felt that the movie did justice exactly what it was supposed to do, scare the living fuck out of you. Yes, it did have problems with it. I'm not going to lie. It did have problems with it. Some plot points did not make sense. But this film scared the shit out of me so bad that I did not want to watch this film again. And I will never watch this film again. So I gave this film a 10 out of 10 because of what I because of the scary the scary the scare factor involved in this film because how the actors portrayed these character how the actors and actresses portrayed these characters the little girl the little girl who played Doris she did one hell of a job with that creep factor the creep factor just went up to 11 for me when i watched this film i felt as though that this film did a hell of a job the actors did a hell of a job. I, I I give points to Mike Flanagan for showing these horrific scenes. That's why I decided to give 10 out of 10. To, uh, that's why I decided to give this film a 10 out of 10. Um, and it was very interesting. It was very interesting, this film. Um, I don't know what you guys think. But this film scared the hell out of me, and I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it immensely. So, uh, like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think and all that shit. And 
yeah um just uh let me know what y'all guys think about this uh i know y'all guys can't comment on my stuff uh because i have it off uh but you know um i'll probably cut it off today i don't know i don't i don't know if i will or i won't but yeah this movie scared the hell out of me man and that's why I gave it 10 out of 10 because of the creep factor because of everything that was involved in the film it scared the bejesus out of me so with that I am Mr. Grimmer 512 and I'll see you on the afterlife peace <laughs>